Hey everybody out there, how's it going? My name is Tegazel, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to change your background on your Xbox One. Now let's look at my background here, right? Black, gray tiles, nothing interesting is going on, doesn't look that cool, so we're going to change it. Now there's a few ways we can do this. The first way is by changing the color. It's black right now, but you can change both the background and the tiles to different colors. So instead of black, you can have like red, green, whatever. Same thing for the tiles. Another way we can do this is with a screenshot. When you're in any one of your games, you can use the take a screenshot command with your Kinect, or if you don't have a Kinect, I don't know how you do that. Anyways, you take a screenshot. Um, it has to be in game though. It can't be of any apps or if your dashboard or anything like that. It has to be in a game. It has to be doing something. It can be if your character posing. Um, you know, a cool background, a cool and a really pretty game, something like that. Take a screenshot and you can use it. Another way we can do this is with achievement art. For every achievement you unlock for all your games and your apps, comes with a little piece of art. You can select that piece of art that comes with the achievement as your background. Now I'll tell you now though, now all achievement arts are great for backgrounds. Some have really weird cropping issues. Um, some are just really generic and rep um, really repetitive you know look like look, look the same as all the other achievement art with it for that game so um just keep that in mind and lastly a way we can change our backgrounds is use our own image take a flash drive or an external storage device say like an external hard drive something like that put an image on there plug it into the one of the usb ports in your xbox one the xbox one should almost immediately recognize it as a storage device and you should be able to pull the image out and i'm going to show you to do that as well so to do all this first we have to go to our settings and from anywhere in your Xbox One to get to your settings, you hit the menu button, which is the little button with three lines next to your X button. Hit that, go down to settings. Next, go all the way down to my Xbox. Now, before we change the background, I'm going to show you how to change the tile colors. Now, my color is the color for the tiles. Pick any one of these colors for your tiles, whichever you prefer. I'm going to go with... Uh, this yellow. Um, and while we're on the topic of tiles, we're going to go down here to. Uh, actually, no, we can't. Here, we'll get to that later. I was going to talk about tile transparency, but we'll do that when we can, because you can't affect tile transparency whenever uh, you don't have an image. If you're just using a color, you can't change the transparency. And I'll show you that later. Okay, so let's go to my background now. Alright, so let's just go with screenshot first. So go. Actually, no, let's do color first. Um, all these colors you see here are the different color options you have for your background. So let's just go with another yellow. I don't know why. I don't even like yellow. And if we hit home, we can see the color and the tiles now change. So back to my background. And now we'll do screenshot. Take you to the upload app where all your screenshots are saved. And I have a few screenshots here for uh, from Dragon Ball Xenoverse. We'll go with this one of me posing with the Hercule statue. And once you have the screenshot you want selected, you hit the menu button again, and you go to set as background. Now if we hit home, that screenshot is now my background. So if we go back to settings, let's uh, do achievement art now. All right, um, so when you select achievement art, it takes you to all your achievements. For all your games and apps, it is even a Twitch achievement. Um, and you pick the game you want to select art from. I'm going to pick a good example since I was talking about good and bad examples earlier. We're going to go with Titanfall. That game has excellent achievement art, great for backgrounds. Here's Titanfall. Let's just go with any one of these would do. I like this one a lot. So once you've selected the achievement you want from the game you want, it takes you to this screen. You can see a preview of what the picture is going to look like by going all the way down and see full screen, whatever. And now, once, you, um, once you're sure you know you, um, you want this picture, you hit set as background. And if I hit home again, it's now my background. So let's go back to settings or back to my Xbox, whatever, if we can just by hitting B okay lastly we're going to use a custom image so select custom image 
select the media device you've plugged into your Xbox. This is my flash drive. And it'll show you all your images. I only have one image saved because that's the only image I was putting on here that was um, with the idea in mind of using it for my Xbox. So select the image. And same way as we did a screenshot, you hit the menu button, set as background. Now let's hit home again. And there you go, you see? Backgrounds change. Now, what I was talking about was transparency earlier before I end the video. Go back. All right, so whenever you have an achievement art set, a screenshot set, or your own custom image, you can change the transparency of the tiles. Not with, not when it's a solid color. I don't understand why, but I guess it wouldn't look that great anyways. Um, so right now I have it on mostly transparent. So if we go to solid, hit home, you can now see all the tiles for all the different, uh, like insert disk, my games apps. The tiles are now a solid kind of yellow. Go back to the settings, set it all the way back down to mostly transparent. They're now see-through, and I think it looks way cooler that way. And all the other settings are slightly, more, you know, either more solid or more transparent. And it's just how you like it. So that's basically it. That's every way to change your background, and also how to customize your tiles, their transparency, and their color. And yeah, I think that's basically every way I know of right now how to change your background. Um, so if you guys have any questions about how to, how about how I did anything about what buttons I hit, hit my controller about, how to get certain places, anything like that that I didn't explain well enough, please, in the comments below, let me know, and I will be happy to help you. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So I appreciate everybody that stopped by and watched this. I really hope this helped you. Please leave a like if it did. Tell me down below if I did good or not. The feedback is always appreciated. It always makes my tutorials better. And if you want to see more Xbox One tutorials or more Xbox One content, also let me know. I've been Tigazel, and I'm signing off. Thank you guys again.